There's a channel called Forbidden Knowledge run by a guy named Billy Carson. Among other strange beliefs, Billy believes that we are all God. Not in the way that Christians say it, where we are all the image of God, but that we are literally all God and we can reach that state through our consciousness. I came across a community post of his where he says this, Virtually all religions either worship aliens or believe in aliens, and they don't even know it. Let's have a look at the definition of alien. A resident born in or belonging to another country, or an entity from outer space. Now that the definition is clear, let's take a look at some of the largest religions and their origins. Christianity, 2.1 billion worship Jesus. John 8.23 And he said unto them, You are from beneath, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I.e. not from earth. Three words. Context saves lives. Let's look at the context, actually. Verse 23 says, Then he told them, You are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. 24. That's why I told you that you would die in your sins, for unless you believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. Who is the he that Jesus is talking about here? Well, let's back up. Here he says, You do not know me or my father, Jesus answered. If you knew me, you would know my father as well. Are we going to say that the word father here is in the same kind of sense as the world is that you say? Is it just him talking about his worldly father, Joseph? Well, I don't really think so. Down in verse 42, it says, Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I have come here from God. I have not come on my own, but he sent me. That's the he he was talking about earlier. And is God an entity in outer space? No. Outer space is part of the natural world, and a creator can't be part of the creation. God's outside the natural world, not inside of it. Also, Jesus says, I am one who testifies about myself, and the Father who sent me also testifies about me. Here's another verse. He says, I am going away, and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. If we look at the context of this sentence, he's talking about a guy who dies in his sins, and so can't go where Jesus is going. Now, if we die in our sins, does that just mean we can't go to outer space? No, the context is heaven. When Jesus says, I am not of this world, he's not talking about earth, he's talking about the universe. The Greek word he uses here is cosmo, where we get cosmos from. And what do we think of when we say the cosmos? We think of the universe. So if God is saying, I'm not of these cosmos, why would we think suddenly that he's an alien? Just remember, please, context saves lives.